and is going to be able to give orders to the effect that these guidelines will not take place. You, we are praying the petition for conservatory orders against these guidelines because they go against every other thing that we are fighting for in this country. We are entering into the political system, into the political, into the election era, at a, a time when everyone is focusing on the leaders we are choosing for tomorrow. Therefore, terrorists may take this opportunity to find that we are not paying very much attention. Now, if, if this focus is, is moved from protecting this country and protecting the ordinary monarchy to the effect that the director of public prosecution must be consulted before any arrest is, any arrest is made against terrorist, terrorist criminals, what does that then mean for Kenya? Are we standing on our own? A terrorist is not going to be prosecuted because of the protection of the director of public prosecutor discriminated against every other crime that is being that is happening here in Kenya. This is an issue that has to be taken with the act of sensitivity and the act of seriousness. It's not only touching the public interest, it is national security. We have to be careful, we have to put our eyes out open in the streets as ordinary citizens and we are hoping that the court, the honorable high court, is going to also cover us and protect us by issuing conservative orders against these guidelines that were arbitrarily um, construed by the director of public prosecution without the involvement of any other interagency. Why would you call guidelines interagency? Yet you by yourself, you are formulating these guidelines for your own benefit or for the benefit of those of your kind so that they may be protected, so that they may be afforded an opportunity to run away from the law or from the consequences of being on the wrong side of the law. Therefore, on behalf of the petitioner member of Charo, we are appealing to the public to be very, to be very vigilant because national security is now an issue that is uh, of urgency and of utmost importance. Going what is now the obvious. In the recent past, we have seen a very uh, excited DPP, Mr. Nudin Haji, who at whims and caprice, he formulates what he calls guidelines aimed at achieving an end that is known to himself. So that in the recent past we have seen him develop guidelines that are aimed at controlling investigations and uh, any action that the police or policemen will take as against any, any person who has been suspected or is, investi is being investigated for being involved in terrorism acts. So that it is now a guideline developed by his office that when when the policemen are investigating anybody who is who is suspected to be involved or uh, who is supposed to conduct any terrorism act, he must be informed prior to his arrest or prior to the investigations being taken. Uh, being taken. Number one, we do not know why or for what purpose Mr. Nuruddin Haji wants the investigating agencies to report to him uh, before investigations are done on people who are involved in terrorism. Secondly, we do not know for, for what purpose uh, he will want to be involved in the investigations. It should be recalled that the office of the DPP is a creature of the Constitution. His powers are clearly enumerated in Article 157 of the Constitution. We do not know why he will go to the extent of arrogating to himself powers that are given to the investigating agencies, particularly when we read Article 245 of the Constitution, so that what, what we knew previously, uh, because previously, previously prosecution was conducted by police officers, but the, the engineers or the drafters of our constitution thought that in order for us to have very objective prosecutions, we should not have a situation where the DPP or the public prosecutor is involved in investigations. Because entirely what, what prosecution should achieve is a fair process. And, uh, for or to the extent that Mr. Nurdin Haji will want to be involved in investigations, we, we read a lot of mischief. We see that he wants to be, uh, th there is something that he wants to achieve other than what he was mandated or is mandated to do. Kwa kifupi nasema, ya kwamba kuna madai ya dioleto wa kotini, ya kwamba wana Nurdin Haji, anajaribu kujiusisha na mambo, kujiusisha na uchunguzi, ambao unafanya na mapolisi wetu. Na Kwa kauli moja, uh, jamaa na hito memba ochara ambaye meelekea kotini, anasema kwamba jambo hilo si ni jambo ambalo nilakiuka sheria. 
ni jambo la pili ambalo linaonyesha lina kwamba bwana Nurdin Naji pengine anatamama ana na asimio ya kufanya mambo kinyume na katiba ili aweze pengine kufanikisha ajenda fulani ambayo sisi kama wananchi hatujui asante kiongezea yale viwango amesema ni kwamba tumo kotini kwa swala la jinsi ya kutatua swala la ugaidi terrorism magaidi wale magaidi wa terrorism watu ambao hawafuati sheria zozote wa Kenya wanakumbuka yaliyotendeka wakati magaidi walipolipua ile ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa American Embassy katika taifa la Kenya wa Kenya zaidi ya miambili waliangamia wengine wana majeraha mpaka leo wa Kenya bado wanakumbuka yaliyokuwa yakitendeka wakati wa magaidi walipovamia Garissa University zaidi ya wanafunzi ya tatu na kadhalika waliaga dunia na wakenya wengi kupoteza eh, fahamu wengine majeraha walionayo mpaka sasa. Wakenya bado wanakumbuka yaliyotendeka pale Westgate ambapo magaidi walivamia na kuharibu mari na kuua wakenya wengi na waraia wa nchi za ngambo waliokuwa huko. Mwisho wakenya wanakumbuka yaliyotendeka juzi katika mkahawa hoteli maarufu ya Dusit ambapo mali na, ma, na maisha yalipotea. Je, yale yaliyofanywa na kiongozi wa mashtaka ni kwamba sasa amesema ame kwamba kabla ya kushika yule ambaye ni gaidi lazima polisi wamjulishe yule jamaa yule ambaye ni DPP kwamba tumemuona yule gaidi. Na yule gaidi ana, anapanga kupiga bomu katika hiyo hoteli utatukubalia tumkamate ama tusimkamate gaidi anapoingia huchukua sekundi hata sio dakika moja kutekeleza aliyokuwa naye sasa tunaambiwa lazima kiongozi wa mashtaka atafutwe ape, apewe ushahidi kabla ya kumshika ule gaidi basi hayo ndio mambo tunauliza nini madhumuni yake hasa ya kufanya polisi wa mngoje aweze kupeana idini na kumbuka kwamba zaidi ya makesi elfu tano ziko kwenye ofisi zake ambazo mpaka sasa hajaziidinisha polisi wanangojea idinisho lake kuposa aweze kushtaki kwa hivyo hayo ndio mambo tumezungumzia mahakama imetusikiza na imeona kwamba swala tulioleta ni swala zito kulikweli na imesema kwamba tutasikizwa tarehe kumi mwezi wa tano kwa hivyo ni mambo ya dharura sana sababu tisho la ugaidi ni tisho lisilokuwa eh, tisho la Kenya peke yake ni ulimwengu mzima in the english language we have gone to court simply to challenge the directives of the director of public prosecution that he must approve on matters terrorism before the police can arrest before the police can engage in uh, in uh, 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 combat with the terrorists i have enumerated four examples one when the terrorists attacked the for the uh, american embassy more than 200 kenyans died and several foreigners plus property was lost and injuries today and the trauma on those who are affected are real two we had a similar attack at Garissa University and several students were killed and that is still in the memory of Kenyans. Third, we had a similar attack at Westgate and therefore every Kenyan knows what happened at Westgate. Lastly, the attack on Dusit was just the other day. So the question we have posed to the court is, under the guidelines, the police, the police the GSU and the military upon detection of a, an attack of terrorism, now the guidelines are they must go and seek authority from the director of public prosecution that we have seen a terrorist walking like Mr. Omari somewhere with the guns and grenades. Can we arrest? What we are telling the court is that terrorism is incidences that act in seconds any divulging of information of 
what the police have is not in the best interest of Kenyans. So we are seeking the court's intervention to stop one of Din Haji from becoming a police officer. That every action the police must do, he must be informed for him to make a decision. A Kenyan is not being exposed with such a bureaucratic corrective in dealing with the questions of terrorism. Is that practice anywhere in the whole world? It is not anywhere in the whole world. Every country's major concern is how to avert terrorism. It is an overt uh, exercise and the terrorists never gave not as a simple example. A terrorist is found to have grenades inside an aeroplane. Will the police wait not to act until they write a letter seeking authority to arrest a terrorist who is already in a hotel or inside a KQ flight? It is practically not possible in, in, uh, in the direction the state the DPP has taken. That is why we have gone to court that this appetite of amassing power in that office is not in the interest, interest of citizens of this country. We will not want a repeat of Vestigate. We will not want a repeat of Ducit. We will not want a repeat of the U.S. Uh, embassy bombing at the expense of an officer who is interested to bring bureaucracy where his job at the definition under Article 157 is purely to prosecute. Remember, very many of the terrorists, when they have come to attack, they are suicide bombers. 90% of the terrorists are suicide bombers. They have come to die with the promise that they will go to heaven and get 40 virgins. Is this the person you are going to seek authority to arrest? A person whose job is to die. Is it realistic? And that is what we are in court today. And the court has given us certified the matter, matter very urgent. We have been told to serve within five days. We have already served. The matter is coming up on the 10th of May when we are seeking for conservatory orders to suspend and revoke those directives because they are likely to hurt the citizens of this country, they are likely to hurt the international reputation and the, and the international diplomatic relations between other states and Kenya, because Kenya will be said it is anti the war of terrorism that is a global war that is going on.